Hi, this is Hermilia B. Gratuito. Our lesson this time is all about progressive tenses, or we can call it also continuous tenses. What's a progressive or continuous verb? It is used to describe ongoing actions in the present, past, or future. Remember that we have three tenses of the verb, the past, the present, and the future. This time, we will be studying all about these tenses of verbs in the progressive or continuous tenses. The first one is past progressive tense. What is a past progressive tense? A past progressive tense is used to describe an ongoing activity in the past. Often, it is used to set the scene for another action. So we have its uses. Number one usage of past progressive tense is it is used to indicate that a longer action in the past was interrupted by a shorter action in the simple past. Example, I was having a beautiful dream when the alarm clock rang. Remember, the phrase was having is in the past progressive tense. The second usage is, it is used when it is interrupted by a specific time. Yesterday at this time, I was sitting at my desk at school. Remember that the phrase was sitting in the past progressive tense has been interrupted by a specific time yesterday at this time. The third usage of the past progressive tense is that it expresses the idea that both actions were happening at the same time. The actions are parallel with each other. Where, what were you doing while you were waiting? So there are two actions, where doing, where waiting. These are parallel actions. The fourth usage of the past progressive tense is that it expresses the idea that something irritating or shocking often happened in the past. He was always coming to class late. Okay? So, I don't know if coming to class late is irritating, but there is the word was always. So maybe it becomes irritating. Number five usage is that it is used with the word wonder to make a very polite request. I was wondering if you could babysit for me tonight. Was wondering. It is in the past progressive tense. The sixth usage is that it is used to express a change of mind. Example, I was going to spend the day at the beach, but I've decided to get my homework done instead. So, it is a change of mind. He, he was supposed to be spending the day at the beach, but he had done his homework instead. Seventh usage of the past progressive tense it is that it is used in a series of parallel actions to describe the atmosphere at a particular time in the past. The sun was shining and the birds were singing as the elephant came out of the jungle. 
The other animals were relaxing in the shade of the trees, but the elephant moved very quickly. There are three sets of、uh, past progressive tenses on these sentences: was shining, were singing, were relaxing. So this is what you call series of parallel actions, which are used. In the past progressive tense, how to form the past continuous or past progressive tenses? The past tense of the verb to be, which、uh, uh, which was and or were, and the base of the main verb plus in. So this is the pattern for singular: was plus verb with in. For plural. Where plus verb within. Okay, I will give you an example of the verb read and watching. So we have the following in the affirmative version. She was reading. Was reading. They were watching. In the negative version, she wasn't reading. They weren't watching. In the interrogative version, was she reading? Were they watching? Have you noticed that the verb to be comes first, and the subject is in the middle of this verb to be and verb with in? Another example in the interrogative is that were they watching? In the interrogative negative. Wasn't she reading? Weren't they watching? The second,、uh, the second tense in the pre,、uh, in the progressive tenses or continuous tenses is the present progressive. What is this? It is a way to convey any action or condition that is happening right now, frequently, and may be ongoing. So welcome to the present continuous. It's happening here. Okay. Uses of present continuous. Number one, for something that is happening at the moment of speaking. So example, please be quiet. The children are sleeping. So. Are sleeping is in the present continuous. It is at the moment happening. The second usage for present continuous it is used for something which is happening before and after a given time. When I get home, my son is doing his homework. He is doing. The third usage of the present progressive tense is that it is used for something which we think is temporary. I'm working in London for the next two weeks. I'm working, but this is temporary because there is a phrase "next two weeks." Maybe after that he will be going home. The fourth usage it is used for something which is new and contrast with a previous state. These days, most people are using email instead of writing letters. In the olden times, we write letters, but nowadays、uh, we click our computer and、uh, we use this computer in making email. So the wonder of computers. The fifth usage of the present progressive tense is that it is used to show that something is changing, growing, or developing. Example: The climate is changing rapidly. Correct. It is really changing rapidly. The sixth usage it is used for something which happens again and again. 
George is great. He's always laughing. There is the word always laughing. Seventh usage. It is used for something which has been arranged or planned. Mary is going to a new school next term. The phrase "next term" indicates that Mary is going to a new school when next term. So it is arranged or planned. Number eight, when we are telling a story or when we are summarizing the story from a book, film, or play, or etc. Trisha is narrating a story to her friends. Is narrating is the present progressive tense. How to form the present continuous or progressive tense? We will have subject plus verb to be am um, is or are plus verb with in. Okay, I will give you an example of the verb dance. So we have I am dancing. I am not dancing. You are dancing. You are not dancing. He, she, it, or any singular noun is dancing or isn't dancing. We are dancing. We aren't dancing. They or any plural noun are dancing or are aren't dancing. Now, where is the interrogative version? So remember that when we uh, make an interrogative question, the verb to be comes first before the subject. So, am I dancing? Are you, we, they dancing? Is he, she, it dancing? Now let's go to the future progressive tense. The future or the future continuous tense. What is this? It indicates continuing action, something that will be happening, going on at some point in the future. Uses of future progressive tense. The first one is it can be used to project ourselves into the future. This time next week, I will be sunbathing in Bali. Next week. So, in the future. It can also be used for predicting or guessing about future events. I guess you'll be feeling thirsty after working in the sun. So, uh, it is guessing or I will be guessing that you will be feeling thirsty. The third usage of the future progressive tense is that it can be used to ask politely for information about the future. Will I be sleeping in this room? So, will I be sleeping is in the future progressive tense. Yes, you may. Number four, it can be used to refer to continuous events that we expect to happen in the future. When he is in Australia, he will be staying with friends. Wow, he will be welcome in Australia. That is why he will be staying. So that will be the future progressive tense. The fifth usage is that when combined with the word still, the future continuous refers to events that are already happening now and that we expect to continue sometime into the future. In an hour, I'll still be ironing my clothes. Wow, because there are still clothes in the basket. 
So maybe he will be, she will be extending to iron for the next hour. How to form the future progressive tense? The pattern is will be plus verb with ing. This is for singular and plural. So I'll give you an example of the verb to stay, which we will be using in the future continuous or progressive tense. So, we have affirmative, negative, interrogative, negative, interrogative. So, I will be staying. Negative, I won't be staying. Will I be staying? Won't I be staying? You will be staying. You won't be staying. Will you be staying? Won't you be staying? He will be staying. He won't be staying. Will he be staying? Won't he be staying? She will be staying. She won't be staying. Will she be staying? Won't she be staying? It will be staying. It won't be staying. Will it be staying? Won't it be staying? We will be staying. We won't be staying. We will be staying. Won't we be staying? And the last in the affirmative, they will be staying. Negative, they won't be staying. In the interrogative version, will they be staying? And in the negative interrogative, won't they be staying? Thank you very much. Again, this is Hermilia B. Gratuito. Hope to see you soon.